you know, we've been working on this plan behind the scenes for so long. You know, what I'm most proud of is to see a place of dignity and to see this kind of magnitude for our people. Um, and we're just so excited today. This building is built for us. It, it's amazing. It really is. The new campus is amazing. It is really is a, a revolutionary facility. It's the first time in North Texas and in a lot of places across the country that we've seen a true educational facility for adults with disabilities. Gosh, you look at, you walk into the new building and just you can tell every detail has really been thought out. It's really all about the people. And uh, that facility was just something, it's something that they, uh, they really need because the need for, uh, for special needs uh, care is so huge here in, in North Texas. And my possibilities, in my estimation, does it the best. The educational need is still immense. And our goal is to continue moving forward, building new facilities and improving this campus so adults with disabilities that enroll in the program will get a higher educational experience and uh, that it will be complete. But that's only part of the problem. Now, this is the first time in American history that adults with disabilities are outliving their parents. And where they live when their parents are gone or unable to care for them is a massive problem. Once they're out of high school, you're on your own. You know, there isn't a lot of structure to support you in helping them become happy, productive, all the things you want for your kid, right? As a parent, you, you stay up at night, literally have nighttime conversations when you're finally going to sleep. Wow, what's gonna happen to Laura when we get to where we can't take care of Laura. While I'm here and my sisters are here, we know what's gonna happen to him, but long-term, I mean, like any parent, um, you're always worried for what's gonna happen for their future and where are they gonna live. In the last 10 years, my possibilities has worked on solving the higher educational problem for people with disabilities. For the next 10 years, we're gonna work on solving the residential problem. There's a need for it everywhere, but definitely in Texas, there's a big need for this, the um, ability to be able to have a community. And it's going to be an amazing place. I think it's a natural extension of what My Possibilities has been doing for the last 10 years. And, you know, you do all you can to help prepare your special needs adult for more independent living, and you give them all the job training you can get and all the ongoing education, which they're going to need for the rest of their lives, really. So it never ends when you have a special needs adult. But then to give them a place that they can call their own, um, in such a, a beautiful setting as I, I know this one's going to be. I mean, it's like, wow, this is uh, what we've hoped for, for for our daughter for a long time. They need to have the same opportunities that everybody else does in their age group, their peers. So you want to be able to give them a sense of community and a chance to use their life skills. And family around is great, but it gives them an opportunity to stand alone in a way with support. It's just been an amazing journey that we've started off with this little bitty facility with 10 kids, then grew to a new facility with 400 kids. Now we've got another facility with potential of up to 2,000 hipsters, and now we're working on housing. People will look at what My Possibilities is doing and the impact it's having on our children, and they're gonna say, you know, we need this in our state. It totally will take a community of people, but I think that if anybody can do it, my possibilities can do it. This is all really exciting, but we need help. It is an opportunity for everybody to pitch in and get involved in establishing a community for people with disabilities right here in North Texas.